excuses that salespeople give for not hitting their target. Now, I've never used any of these. So before you start, don't, don't come at me. I was on track to hit my number, but then a couple of deals, they fell. Ah, they fell into next month. So yeah, fell fell right off a cliff. Tried to grab one of them, but then the other one, yeah, not enough hands. So won't see them again till next month. They've fallen. No, they fell. Ah, oh, this, this is a good one. Everyone's telling me to call them back next year. Yeah, Christmas time. You know what it's like. It's uh, come out of nowhere. I know it happens the same time every year, but I wasn't expecting it. Neither was my pipeline. So no shows. This is a this is a great one. People are just not turning up. I'm booking lots of them and I'm relentlessly emailing people hundreds of times and they'll say, I'll meet you. Just stop. On the day, they don't turn up. Can't put my finger on it. Can't be helped. No show, right? What else? No time. Right, there's a lot going on at the moment. The World Cup, a lot of my prospects are watching the match. I'm not, I'm not, I've not been watching the matches, but I'm saying the people I'm calling are, are watching them. And there's a lot going on. People are very busy, there's no time. And I can't build a pipeline and I'll be missing matches myself at this rate. If only there was something that could give reps back more time in their day, meaning that if deals slip or if no shows happen, they've got enough pipeline and they don't have to worry. That's the kind of world... I want to live in. That would be great. Shakaboom. <laughs> Free drinks on the house.